Hi, I'm Hallie from Hallie's Macarons, and today I'm going to show you how to make these Lucky Charms Macarons in honor of St. Patrick's Day coming up. They're filled with a rainbow marshmallow buttercream, then topped with white chocolate drizzle and Lucky Charm cereal. I made these last year for St. Patrick's Day, and they were a huge hit, so I'm super excited to share the recipe with you guys. If you're new to making macarons, I would recommend taking a minute to check out my video on vanilla French macarons. In that video, I take some extra time to explain the steps, which will be really helpful if you're a beginner. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and get started. Here's what you'll need to make the macaron shells. There's also a link to the recipe written out in the description of this video. First thing you're going to do is sift together your powdered sugar and almond flour. Then whisk those ingredients together until they're nice and combined. Add the cream of tartar to the room temperature egg whites and then whip them until they're nice and foamy. Once the egg whites are foamy, slowly add in your granulated sugar. I add the sugar in three separate additions, mixing for a few seconds in between each addition. As you whip, the egg whites will continue to thicken into a meringue. When your meringue is getting close to reaching the stiff peak stage, add a few drops of food coloring. Then keep on whipping until you get stiff peaks. Now you're going to fold the almond flour and powdered sugar mixture into the meringue. I'm going to add it to the meringue in three separate additions making sure that the dry ingredients are fully incorporated before I add more. As you fold, make sure you're folding in this specific motion where you scrape the spatula along the edges of the bowl and then fold towards the center of the bowl. When all the dry ingredients have been added, keep folding until you get a nice flowy consistency like lava. The batter should ribbon off the spatula like this. Add your batter to a piping bag with a half inch piping tip. Then pipe the batter onto your trays. Make sure the trays are lined with either a silicone baking mat or parchment paper so that the batter doesn't stick to the pan. Bang the trays on the counter a few times to pop any air bubbles. And then you need to let the batter rest until it dries and forms a hard outer shell on the surface. This can take anywhere between 30 minutes and 2 hours. Then bake each tray at 300 degrees for 14 minutes. While the shell's cool, we can begin preparing the filling. To make the marshmallow buttercream, first you're going to combine a fourth of a cup of butter and a fourth of a cup of marshmallow fluff. Then add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and slowly add in three-fourths of a cup of powdered sugar. Then separate the buttercream into three separate bowls. Then add a few drops of food coloring into each bowl. For my colors, I did yellow, pink, and blue to match the Lucky Charms rainbow. Then you're going to add your different colors of buttercream to the same piping bag, but try to keep the colors separate as you add them to the bag. As you pipe, the colors will swirl together in a pretty little rainbow. But before we add the filling, we're going to decorate the tops of the macaron shells. I'm going to drizzle some melted white chocolate over the tops and then add Lucky Charm cereal before the white chocolate hardens. When the white chocolate hardens, the Lucky Charms will stick to it like glue.
Also, make sure you don't do this until the shells have cooled off completely, otherwise you'll have a melty white chocolate mess. Then pipe in your rainbow filling. Sound your macarons together and you have a beautiful, delicious, rainbow, marshmallowy treat. And there you have it. These macarons are so delicious and fun and festive and perfect for the holiday. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.